Jim, tell us about what's in here. This has not got a little 351 Windsor under the hood. Yeah, no, it's uh, so it's got a 460, and uh, actually, it's uh, it was uh, I bought the engine from the Ford Industrial Engine Division. Uh, I was at uh, Ford store getting some parts and uh, hit it off with the parts manager, and I noticed he had all these engines on pallets lined up, and they're all painted gray. And I was like, what, are these what I, he goes, yep. Yeah. I go, they're 460s, they had 429 Cobra Jet cylinder heads on them. They had uh, heavier rods and cranks because they were built for industrial engine use or even marine use. And uh, they had Super Cobra Jet cams in them. And, uh, and I bought it. And then of course putting a 460 in this year turned out to be more challenging. I thought it was gonna be simple. Yeah. They never put, the 429, 460 class engines in a four wheel drive, only two wheel drives. And the oh. frames are different. All the engine accessories are different. Oh, so wow. so I had to make a lot of things. I had a, like all the all the accessory bracketry up front, all the belts, all the sheaves for the pulleys. I had to work all that out. There was nothing that, that obviously I tried to get some factory parts that I could use yeah. or modify, but I had to figure it all out. So it was not a simple buy a bunch of stuff and go, or go to the junkyard and put it together. And then the transmission, uh, it originally had an NP435, uh, uh, but I took that out and put an NV5600 six-speed in it, uh, and that took a lot of work, uh, a lot of special machining to adapt that transmission, which is normally made for a Cummins diesel, to put it behind a 460. No one had done that before. And then I had to adapt the transfer case to it as well, the 205 that's in it. Yeah. And uh, I had to make everything, design everything, machine everything. Uh, the adapter plate between the engine and the transmission, I uh, did that on CNC, and it's an intricate piece because that transmission, the whole front of the transmission isn't just flat and you make adapter plate, that is the front of the transmission. And so all the sh internal shafts and bearing mounts and everything had to be machined into that plate, and then that plate had to be made to mount, mount to the 460. Mm -hmm. So it was a lot of work.